Mathematics is a branch which is closely associated with science, with which you can solve problems, etc. There are thousands of contradictions in the Bible, hundreds deal with mathematics. I'll just touch on a few of them. It's mentioned in Ezra chapter number 2, verse number 1, and Nehemiah chapter number 7, verse number 6, the context, that when the people returned from exile from Babylon, when King Nebuchadnezzar of Babylon, when he released the men from Israel, they came back from captivity, and the list of the people are given. The list is given in Ezra chapter number 2, verse number 2 to 63, and Nehemiah chapter number 7, verse number 7 up to 65. The list is given with the names as well as number of people released. In these 60 verses, there are no less than 18 times the name is exactly the same, but the number is different. There are no less than 18 contradictions in less than 60 verses of years. This is the list. I don't have time to run through the list. There are no less than 18 different contradictions in less than 60 verses. Further, it's mentioned in Ezra, chapter number 2, verse number 64, that the total congregation, if you add up, if you add up, it comes to 42,360. And if you read in Nehemiah, chapter number 7, verse number 66, they also the total is the same, 42,360. But if you add up all these verses, which I had to do my homework, this is a list. This is a list of Ezra. This is a list of Nehemiah. Ezra chapter number 2, Nehemiah chapter number 7. If you add up, I had to do my homework. If you add up, in Ezra chapter number 2, it doesn't come to 42,360. It comes to 29,818. And if you add up Nehemiah chapter number 7, even there it doesn't come to 42,360. It comes to 31,089. The author of the Bible, presumed to be almighty God, does not know simple addition. If you give this problem even to a person who's passed elementary school, he'll be able to get the right answer. If you add up all the 60 verses, it's so easy. Almighty God didn't know adding knows Billah if we presume that this is the word of God. Further, if we read in Ezra chapter number 2, verse number 65, it says there were 200 singing men and women. Nehemiah chapter number 7, verse 67, there were 245 singing men and women. Were they... 200 or were there 245 singing men and women? Context is the same, a mathematical contradiction. It's mentioned in the second Kings, chapter number 24, verse number 8, that Joachim was 18 years old when he began to reign Jerusalem. And he reigned for three months and ten days. Second Chronicles, chapter number 36, verse number 9 says that Joachim was eight years old when he began to reign, and he reigned for three months, ten days. Was Joachim 18 years when he began to reign, or was he eight years old? Did he reign for three months, or did he reign for three months, ten days? Further, it's mentioned in the first Kings, chapter number seven, verse number 26, that in his in molten sea, he had 2,000 baths. In second Chronicles, chapter number four, verse number five, he had 3,000 baths. Did he have 2,000 baths or did he have 3,000 baths? That I leave it upon Dr. William Campbell to decide, which is correct. There is a clear cut mathematical contradiction. Furthermore, it's mentioned in the first Kings, chapter number 15, verse number 33, that Basha, he died in the 26th year of reign of Asa. And second Chronicles, Chapter number 16, verse number 1 says that Basha invaded Judah in the 36th year of the reign of Asa. How can Basha invade 10 years after his death? It's unscientific. <laughs> to make it easier for Dr. William Campbell to answer to the points I have raised, I'll just mention it in brief. The points that I mentioned. The first point was that 
the creation of the earth and the heaven, the universe was in 624 days. Light was there before the source of light. Point number two. Three. Day came into existence before creation of earth. Point number four. Earth came into existence before sun. Point number five. Vegetation came into existence before sunlight. Point number six. Light of the moon is its own light. Point number seven. The earth. Will it perish or will it abide forever? Point number eight. The earth has got pillars. Point number nine. The heavens have got pillars. Point number ten. God said you can have all plants and all vegetation, including the poisonous plants. Point number eleven. The scientific test, the falsification test of Mark chapter number 16, verse number 17 and 18. Point number 12. A woman remains unclean for double the period if she gives birth to a daughter as compared to a son. Point number 13. Using blood to disinfect the house against plague of leprosy. Point number 14. How do you find out the bit of water test for adultery. Point number 15. 18 different contradictions in less than 60 verses of Ezra chapter 2 and Nehemiah chapter number 7. I didn't count them as 18 different. I've counted them only as one. Point number 16. The total is different in both the chapters. Point number 17. Are there 200 singing men and women or are there 245 singing men and women? Point number 18. Was Joachim 18 years old, or was he 8 years old when he began to reign? Point number 19. Did he reign for 3 months, or 3 months 10 days? Point number 20. Did Solomon had 3,000 baths, or 2,000 baths? Point number 21 is that Basha, how could he invade Judah 10 years after his death? Point number 22 is Almighty God, he said, I put up a rainbow in the sky as a promise to the humankind never to submerge the world again by water. I have listed only 22 out of the hundreds available and scientific points in the Bible, scientific errors, and I request Dr. William Campbell to answer them. And irrespective whether he uses the Concordis approach or the conflict approach, as long as he's logical, he will never be able to prove scientifically all these 22 aspects I have told him. We agree, in Jesus Christ, peace be upon him, to him was revealed the Injil. This is not the Injil. It may contain part of God, but the other unscientific portion is not the word of God. I would like to end my talk by giving the quotation of the glorious Quran from Surah Baqarah, chapter 2, verse 17, which says, فَوَيْلُلْ لِلَّذِينَ يَكْتُبُونَ الْكِتَابَ بِأَيْدِيهِمْ سُمَّا يَقُلُونَ حَاذَا مِنِنْ دِلَّا لِيَشْتَرُوا بِهِ ثَمْنًا كَلِلَّا فَوَيْلُلْ لَوْ مِمَّا قَدْ بَتَأَيْدِيهِمْ وَوَيْلُلْ لَوْ مِمَّا يَكْسِبُونَ Woe to those who write the book with their own hands and then say this is from Allah to transmit it for a miserable price. Woe to those for what they write, woe to those for what they earn. Wa akhru dawana alhamdulillahi rabbil alameen. I would request our audience to bear, bear with us and maintain a due decorum for the continuation of the dialogue.